Danny. Hey, I just wanted to thank you for inviting me here. You know, nothing makes me happier than saving the dolphins. Except for working at you at Jimco, maybe, huh? <laughs> I'm sure everyone here would agree. Excuse me, sir. This party's by invitation only. Well, the name is Frenchie. And don't be so cool to be a... Of course I have an invitation. I'm here with Benny. Hey, Benny! High five! High five! High five! That it ain't, right? You see I'm with him? Now, you know I got to be with him because I'm here. I'm slick and all the women love my clothes. Gotcha! Hey, Benny Bones, who's play, man? What is <laughs> Oh, man, what you got here, man? Ain't nothing but your Frank with a wrapped in bread, man. I just thought you told me it was a classy affair. I'm glad I bought these hot wings. What are you... Yeah, man, oh, my... Get some air back. <clears throat> How the hell did you find me? Oh, Trace and Play. When you accidentally threw my number in the trash can, I ran outside and took down your license plate number. Then I called the DMV. They give me an ex-wife last name. I call her. I talked to her for five minutes. You know what she say? Here the address, here the telephone number. She's going down there. She said, me and you deserve each other, man. Oh, yeah, I owe her one. Excuse me, can you excuse me a second? I gotta get something over here. All right. Well, the bone's your own, there, eh? <laughs> Pleasure to make your quaint hands. Uh, I'm a friend of Bennett. My name is Lena, but everybody calls me French. Oh, why is that? I got took French in 11th grade. And I love to kiss that way. <laughs> certainly do. Hey, Bruce Lee. Look out! Friend of Denny's. Man, I love your movies, man. Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh -huh. Say hello to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for me. Look, uh, Frenchie, uh -huh. you know that this affair costs over $1,000 a head? $1,000 a head? Yes. Oh, man, you get ripped off. I know this. No, 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 that's not what I mean, all right? This is to raise funds for the dolphins. Oh, man, I don't want to tell you how to spend your money, Benny, but it's the Rams that's in trouble. Oh, you are out. Excuse me. That is a gorgeous gown. Well, thank oh, you, good. Benny. That looked like the one my mama got on the whole shopping club. <laughs> is that polyester? No, actually, it's 100% raw silk. Oh, I'm sorry. But maybe one day you can save up and put some on layaway. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bruce Lee. Man. What you got there, champagne? Oh, man, B-Y-O-B-B. Bring your own round bag. That's right, I got the good stuff here. Cold duck. That's right. Give you half the taste and twice the gas. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, yeah, I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the women want my phone number. <laughs> hey, Bennett, let's talk to Bennett. Hey, let's do <laughs> Woo! Hey, Bennett, man. I want you think, I'm making friends over there. I don't forget about you. Have a little sweet. Uh, um, as I was saying, I received my BA from SMU yes. and my PhD uh -huh. from MIT. Well, well, a tray impressed me. <laughs> I have you know that I bought my BLT from Mickey D. You know, I'm a JMB from the AMP and once got BD in DC. <laughs> Rick James. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, man. Trust me, that's what this party needs, man. I used to be a tambourine player with Chief and Larissa, so I know music, man. Now, come on, let's count it off on folks. Super Freak, ready? One, two, three, four.
since it's your last night of freedom. Yeah. <laughs> the guys thought you should have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> beautiful Karen is gonna look tomorrow. She better cost me a fortune. Her dress, by Dior. Uh -huh. Her diamond, Cartier. Uh -huh. And her hair, Sassoon. Hey, man, well, if you're gonna look good, you got to spend the money. My suit from Piggly Wiggly, my shoes are from Favor, and my hair done by World Curve. Yeah, uh, look, how about a movie, guys? Hey, say no more. Yeah. Say no more. I got the tape right here, y'all. Now, this here's a real man feel. Go put it on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, Frenchie. She's not bad. Hey, the good stuff on the way now, right? Hey. What the hell is this? Disco Godfather. That's right, man. Rudy Ray Moore at his best. He's the writer, director, and choreographer. Man, I'm telling you, can't nobody do the robot like Rudy Ray Moore, man. Do it. Man, you are uh, Guys, uh, I guess it's time for a toast. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Now, hey, you guys all know, on our freshman year at Harvard, <laughs> Benny and I bought a bottle of 1952 Don Perignon. Woo! Now, here's the deal. We swore not to open this bottle until one of us got married. And you beat me. Congratulations. <laughs> so here it is, man. Yeah. Hey, what happened to the champagne? Oh, oh, the champagne. Oh, man, I threw that old stuff out, man. My friend Benny can't drink nothing from 1950. That's the best. 1991 cold December. <laughs> you pour it out? Hey, don't thank me. It was my pleasure, right? Cause I'm hip, slick, and all the women love my type of skin. Oh, listen, don't no, worry, Benny. Come on, don't worry. At least you still got your gift. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me. Hey. Hey, a Mercedes emblem. This will go good with my car. Well, it is off your car. I hit it on the way in. But the chain is my idea. What? Get, you girl king, get out of my house. Get out of here. Oh, come on, Jacques Cousteau. Don't be so great. Come on. Oh, come on, King Cobra. You're out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who are these women? That's what I was trying to explain here, Benny. The little girl in the half pad drawers. I told her one wasn't gonna be enough. I told her to go home and get a friend. <laughs> That's right, cause I'm here. I'm slick and all the women love my y'all fill it in. <laughs>
welcome to the Lamaze method of natural childbirth. Let's see how well we remember last week's lesson. Ladies, we're going to start by relaxing our groin muscles. Hello! I was going to suggest in the bottom, but look like y'all a whole lot more advanced. Gracie, what are you doing here? This is a Lamaze class. Lamaze? I thought you said LaBelle. Where's Patty at? Who they do? Who say y'all man? Why? And you are Mr. No, now I'm introduce myself. I Atlanta. But all my friends call me French because I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the ladies love my child bearing hip. Oh, my. Gotcha. <laughs> well, um, Leonard, uh, this is not a Patti LaBelle concert. Mm -hmm. This is the Lamaze method of natural childbirth. Well, that's great, because I was born naturally. That's yeah, right, right on the side of the road. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is natural. <laughs> you look pretty good laying down like that. Last time I seen like that was in the locker room in the Rams. I have two shots of tequila. <laughs> oh, oh I, I see. Well, well, Janice, maybe maybe your friend Leonard would like to act as your Lamaze coach. I would be Trey Pepsmith. Oh, Richie. <laughs> no, wait. I am waiting for my husband, the father of my child, to get oh, be here. Oh, my in goodness. I am so forgetful. Your husband called. Apparently, he was driving along the highway and he spun out on an oil slick. I knew I'd drop my TCB somewhere. Oh, my God. Was he hurt? No, neither my gremlin. Don't worry about it, baby. Uh, if you'll just sit right down here, Leonard. All right. Okay, now, before we begin on our breathing technique, I'm going to show you a short film that should take some of the mystery out of delivery. You see, this is the moment when you first begin to see the head. Hey, hey, hey. Last time I saw something this freaky was at Clarence Thomas' house down at Tijuana. Hey, long don't see him in this one. Okay. That's enough of that. Uh, let's move on to one of our most important techniques. That's panting and heavy breathing. Well, it seemed to me like that's what got you here in the first place. <laughs> and... That's right. Now push. And push. Foot, foot, it's Janet. Foot, foot, it's Janet. You know how to get that. Oh, 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 Janet. My goodness, Leonard, you certainly have enough enthusiasm for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Janice, perhaps you would like to demonstrate the simulated childbirth. You just help me push while I contract. All right. That's right, Janice. Make sure you're really pushing. Sometimes those little fellas don't like to come out. Well, hell, can you blame them? I wish I could move back. <laughs> Good God, I got to have it. <laughs> Somebody better call James Brown, because I think we got a hit on our head. Go, on, baby. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness, Janice. Now, now, Leonard, what's the first thing you do with a child? Well, let's see. We got to slap it. That's right. Slap it. And then turn them down. Come here, baby. <laughs> Yeah. You know, Janet, if we had a boy, the house would stay clean, the fence would be painted, and the gremlin would always be shining. Really? That's right, because I have someone to do it for me. Gotcha! <laughs> done a wonderful job organizing the recital, Janice. I'm quite sure donations will be generous. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Beaumont. I just hope we raise enough money to keep the opera house open. Oh, I'm certain we will, my dear. Unless, of course, there's some unforeseen disaster. <laughs> We're a I'm sorry, but I think you're a bit confused. This is the opera. What? You mean there ain't gonna be no women on here talking about their panties possessed by the devil? Who are you? I give you a hint. I'm hip, I'm slick, and all the women love my G.I. Joe the Kung Fu Blue. <laughs> well, uh, you'll have to excuse us. I think we see somebody over there we know. Hmm. Well, bone souffle moment the day. Oh, my God, it's that idiot Frenchie. Um, excuse me, I have to freshen up. Janet! Hey, Janet, it's my Frenchie, baby! How you doing, Mama? What? 
are you doing here? Well, don't be so elder barge. You won't be even find me in, though. Remember when you didn't learn to write, you said close your eyes when I asked you for a piece of sugar. You said close your eyes, count to 100. No, oh, man, you was dumb. If don't worry, you dropped a little something on the line to my flow. I took it down to the police station, had your fingerprints dusted. They gave me a lot of money number, I followed you down here. I just wanted to return these to you, baby. I love the woman that wears safari drawers. You know, I got some on right now. Want to see? No. Travis, Travis. I don't believe I've met your friend. He's not my friend. That's right. There's much more than that. We go together like toes and jam. <laughs> well, so on the far down. My name is Lennon, but all my friends call me Frenchie. Oh, oh dear. Uh, Frenchie, let me spell it out for you. Mrs. Beaumont is the CEO of a top SNL. Yes, but I'm out tonight for a little R and R. <laughs> Can't coincidence. Oh. That's right. I got B.O. from the local YMCA, and I'm out for a little teenage. Oh, I've never been so insulted, Lola. Well, she sure got enough, eh? Frenchie, I have something very important to do. Mm -hmm. Somewhere else. Uh, you stay here. Just stay. Don't follow me. Don't move. Just stay. Whatever you say, mon petit commode. Some frog sir? Mmm, look like mon doo doo to me. It's goose liver pate. Oh, great, man. These chitlin and hot sauce are going with that just fine. Go on, that down the ranch. This is nice. Hey, Zorro. You know I wore that same Halloween, that costume last Halloween? One first place down to Mr. Rick's Sugar Shack. Sure did want to confront this single and didn't even have to get my T-shirt wet. Getting mighty howling dolls. Look like you missed me, baby. You know, in my uh, Harvard days, I once shot six three pointers in a row. Mm -hmm. mm, very impressive. Well, last New Year's Eve, I put 12 Reese's pieces up my nose, shot them into a Dixie cup from Kroger Room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, intermission is over. Please take your seats. Oh, it's part of Tonight's program. <laughs> <laughs> can afford, I'm going to double my donation to yeah. see if this doesn't happen again. Yeah. I assure you, Mrs. Never. Oh, Jonas, keep your fiancé French fry singing. <laughs> oh, so. My name is Benny, and I'm an alcoholic. Hello, Hi, Benny. Benny. Welcome, Benny. Woo. I am glad to say that I haven't had a drink of alcohol in six months. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 
Bring us every man, and it is time to party. Hey, I'll get all the party shop, come, party shop, come, party shop, come. Come on, Vinny, do the fucking Vinny with the lady. No, not again, Frenchie. How did you find me? Oh, man, it wasn't easy, my old great great poopon. I followed you out of that porno shop down there on Kauai. And I knew you had to be going to a party else. You wouldn't have bought that blow-up doll. Get your share cap and hands off of me. Excuse me, but um, I'm afraid you have the wrong place. Well, this is AA. Oh, that's a good thing, because my car broke down about six blocks. I think it might have been the battery, but it sure was hard to drive with that boot on. <laughs> Not triple A. This is a meeting for Alcoholics Anonymous. What are you talking about? You're not anonymous, they're Richie, they're Benny, and Janet, hi, Benny. Get out of here, get out of here, Frenchie. No, wait a minute, I am the group leader, sit down. Now everybody's welcome to say, and anybody with an outfit on like that is in dire need of assistance. Yeah, you know, with a wig, got nerve talk on my outfit. Yeah, I feel nerve there. Well, who's next? Jenny, you go next. Go, Jenny. Hi, um, well, <clears throat> I remember, uh, when I knew I had hit rock bottom, I, uh, left work and went straight to a bar. <clears throat> and, uh, the next thing I knew, I was in a, a gremlin with some, um, some greasy-looking guy I had never seen, and, and, uh, I had my dress up over my head, and I, I don't even... Know where my wedding ring is? <laughs> well, I'll be G my T. That was you. Well, they got party wedding ring, but I bought you dog back. think you understand. We're alcoholics. Uh -huh. I, I was once up to two bottles of J&B a day. I don't know how long I can stay dry. Hey, man, that ain't nothing. I was up to three and a half bottles of TCB light a day. I switch over to Afro Sheen, and I'm never dry. <laughs> Buddy, you just don't get it. I drank myself out of a job, a marriage, uh -huh. and a home. Hey, man, well, don't feel bad. My mama told me when I was six, I drank out the toilet. Perhaps you can help us with our role playing. All right. Um, Janice. 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 Come on, Janice. Okay. You got something else. Now, Janice, Frenchie is alcohol. Now, explain to him the way you feel. <clears throat> All right. I admit it. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to you, oh. to your smell, mm. the way you intoxicate me. The thought that I can't go a single day without you just gives me the shakes. Well, baby, if all that happens, just looking at me, wait till I stick you some tongue. Come here. Oh. Oh, hey. Why don't you just tell us how alcohol has affected your life? What you talking about, man? I don't need no alcohol to get no women. All I need is a Rick James 8-track. Bought the musk girl and twenty-two dollars. Man, what can a girl get for twenty-two dollars? Nothing, but I can get the boot off my car. <laughs> hey, you know something? If this guy can get women without drinking, there's hope for us all. You gonna listen hey, to me? Hey, now that sounds like a party to me. Come on, y'all, kick it off, on folks.